Mark Paris, municipal bonds have really sold off since early July. Is this something specific to munis, or are they just following the whole bond market lower with yields heading higher? Well, definitely the bond market has adjusted a little bit in rates. Rates have risen. The Fed is definitely in play here, and people are worried. But the municipal bond market specifically has seen a lot of supply. August was a big supply month for new issue. September was one of the larger Septembers. And even here in October, we're seeing a lot of supply. But we do believe things will start to taper off as we get closer to year end. And we think that demand is still fairly good to eat up some of the supply. But without a doubt, extra bonds in the marketplace are cheapening up the marketplace a little bit. And you're seeing demand come from overseas. Can you address that? Because I'm supposing all these negative yields abroad are sending German and Japanese investors here to buy our municipal bonds? That's wild. Absolutely. Negative yields has a, b a big uh, issue with it. Uh, certainly, we have good yields in the muni market comparable to treasuries, but they also like the infrastructure story. Buying toll roads, bridges, tunnels, water and power bonds seems to excite them as well. So munis give them a way to diversify their portfolio away from treasuries and corporates. They don't get the tax exemption, but munis yield about the same as treasuries right now, so it's an attractive place to be. All right, that's what they like. What do you like? Do you like the revenue bonds and the service bonds as well? And if so, what do you like? Do you like the sewers, the toll roads, the airports? What are you look shopping for right now? Definitely essential service revenue bonds, the things you wake up and do every day. When you wake up in the morning, you turn your lights on, we own the power company. You go to brush your teeth, we own the water company. You drive to work, we probably own the toll road. These are the essential services. Uh, municipalities have a monopoly on these types of services, and they're really good investments because you know where the revenue stream is coming in. You also don't have the pension issues you have with revenue bonds that you have with general obligation bonds. In the high yield sector, we love the continuing care retirement center. Private pay nursing homes are something we invest heavily in and do really well in that sector. All right, finally, let's get to the big question at hand. Who is better for munis, Clinton or Trump? So I think the market is definitely pricing in a bit of a Clinton victory here. But when you look at the Trump tax plan, you have to understand that lower taxes are going to be a bit of a negative for municipal bonds. So we would expect to see higher rates if you go from 39% to a 25% tax bracket. But we'll see where the election comes out. But in the meantime, we're just looking for good value in the muni market and being prepared for the possibility of a surprise. All right. Thanks a lot for coming on and talking about it. Good to be here, Greg. Mark, and thank you for watching The Street.